Well, it's, please take a seat. It's hard to know where to begin. Um, you came in here today saying you were hoping to break the course record. In reality, in the back of your mind, was the world record really your main objective? My main ob objective was to, to run a course record. I was well prepared again for, to run a fast race. Yeah. Were you confident that you could break the, the course record? Or excuse me, break the world record? No, 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 I was not confident to break, but I was in good shape to run a, a fast race. Your third marathon, you've never run slower than 2 over 2. Um, and each time you run faster. Um, at what point in the race did you really feel, okay, I can go on with this record and get it? Uh, it was from 30 kilometers. Uh, that now my body respond, then I make a move. Okay, questions for Kelvin. Larry. Kelvin, congratulations on the world record. You seemed a little impatient with the pacemakers. Were they not going as fast for you, or did you want to get away from them and focus on your race? No, no, no. Uh, the pace was good but I was telling them to maintain it, so it was fine. Hi, congratulations. What does this mean for you now as we head into an Olympic year? Are the Olympics on your mind? Yes, Olympics are on my mind, yeah. Do you think this gets you in a better position for the Olympics? Yes, of course. Thank you. You waited until about 19 miles to really making a move, why did you wait until then to be aggressive? Yeah, that's my strategy. Uh, maybe 19 miles, 20 miles, and you can move. Is that because you had success doing that in London and Valencia? You wanted to do it again? Yes, of course. Uh, so you were actually on the uh, world record pace all the way from the beginning. At what point did you recognize that the world record might be yours? Uh, at that five kilometers, I knew I was going to have one look. The, the question now on everybody's lips must be, well, a sub two hour marathon. Maybe it's too soon to start thinking in those terms, but is that in your mind? No, that's not in my mind. Okay. Uh, of course, Elliot Kipchoge has been the man with the world record for, for years now. How do you feel about Elliot and his career? I'm sure he's someone that you look up to. And how does it feel to know that you have run faster than the man they say is the greatest of all time? Yeah, of course, he is the greatest of all time. He has done much a lot. And we respect him, and we have to follow what he has done. Uh, a year ago, you had never run a marathon. Now you've run three of the fastest ever and the world record. How do you explain your rise to the top in such a quick rise? I, you know, my preparation has been going good well, and my marathon has been responding well to my body, so I keep on moving. When did you know you would be a great marathon? I didn't know I'd be, I'd be a great marathon, but just, just come itself. Kelvin, when did you feel discomfort in the race? Was it over the last five to eight K, or did you feel pretty much in control the whole time? Yes, all the time I feel very controlled. Have you ever felt at any part of the marathons you've run that it wasn't acting in control, that you were in pain at all? Not. <coughs> you never felt in pain in a marathon? Yes. You have, or you haven't? Yes. Um, so what's next for you, Kelly? Now I can go home, take a little rest, rest then I set up the training. Presumably the Olympic Games next year must be on in your mind. Yes, maybe, yeah. No. Calvin? Will you have to run another marathon to be selected 
by your country, or will this, you're obviously the three marathons you've done now suffice for your selection process in Kenya? I'll go back home first, then take a rest, then I'll plan what's next. Yeah. Thank you. We're just about to be joined by our 2023 Bank of America Chicago Marathon female champion, Sifar Hassan. Also a wonderful run, wonderful course record. Congratulations. Thank you for joining us.